Looks is a sidebar widget designed to enable users to customize the appearance and shading of their 3D models. This UI component enhances the default shading of imported geometry by offering a selection of both beautiful and functional matte caps. These matte caps facilitate various tasks such as examining the object in point cloud view, overlaying polygon wireframes, displaying UV seams, assessing UV stretching, and checking the tiling of a UV checkerboard. This helps in identifying well-mapped or poorly mapped polygons. The Looks feature, a fancy term in Packer I.O. for a combination of matte caps, overlays, and shading manipulations, provide the geometry with appropriate shading, which can better represent the form against a plain, dark background. Some 3D forms are edgy, others are organic, and there are many instances where the default shading does not adequately highlight the topology details, reliefs, or structures in the way an artist might prefer. The Looks menu is located in the left sidebar. It is divided into two sections, the upper shelf, which contains matte caps, and the lower UI area, which includes additional transformation settings. The matte cap shelf is the main component of the Looks menu. It comprises 30 slots, each containing different shading and color looks. The first row contains functions. These are programmed components which affect the parametric drawing of the object. Point Cloud feature places dots at the vertices of the object. It is particularly useful for seeing through the object to detect or select hidden parts of the geometry that are typically inaccessible from within the form. Wireframe option overlays a wireframe of the polygon on the working object, providing a clear view of its structural layout. You can press the, the keyboard shortcut control W to activate it. UV seams are displayed as an additional overlay on the working object. Both wireframe and UV seams can be applied simultaneously for a more comprehensive view. You can press the keyboard shortcut control S to activate it. The UV checker applies a parametric checkerboard texture to the working object. This is useful for verifying the correctness of UVs across all object parts and assessing texture density. You can adjust the tiling of the checker map by clicking the 1 to 4 buttons at the bottom of the looks menu. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl 1 to 4 on your keyboard to interactively change the density. Activating the stretch view enables users to observe UV stretching on the object, depicted by a gradient of two colors. Red values represent areas of higher stretching, while bluish values indicate lower stretching. In Packer I.O., the stretch display accurately depicts UV stretching, even on a single polygon basis. The second row contains production matte caps, representing the most commonly used defaults known from other applications for fast and clean visualization. The default matte cap in Packer I.O. is a standard visualization style, providing a visually pleasing experience with a balanced lighting setup to enhance the appearance of 3D models. The clay matte cap, inspired by the ZBrush clay look, is tailored for ZBrush users and offers a recognizable geometry shading style. The normals look is designed for detailed surface analysis, accurately displaying the orientation of normals in tangent space. The white look, inspired by ambient occlusion, is ideal for architectural or sculptural visualizations, offering a clean, distraction-free view that emphasizes form and volume. The X-ray look simulates medical X-ray imaging, useful for medical and mechanical visualizations. The third to sixth rows contain aesthetic art matte caps. These are applied to the object for more pleasing visualization or for contrasting topology details due to their varying light and shadow orientations. In the Looks interface, user will find the Looks Transformation widget located at the bottom. This widget includes special tools designed for transforming and adjusting matte caps to suit your needs. Within the Looks widget, there is a section titled Look. Here, the name of the currently active matte cap is displayed, making it easy for you to identify which matte cap you are working with at any given time. Another feature in this widget is tiling. This function enables you to apply a matte cap across your object in varying resolutions. You can choose to tile your matte cap in one, two, four, or eight steps, providing flexibility in how the texture is displayed on your object. Additionally, the Look Rotation Wheel is a significant tool found on the right side of the widget. This interactive wheel allows you to click and drag to rotate the current matte cap. 
Our research indicated that many users prefer having different mat caps with varying directions of light. This feature is particularly useful for those looking to enhance the visualization of small details or to better understand the three-dimensional form of an object. The Look Rotation Wheel facilitates this by enabling real-time adjustments to the lighting direction of the mat cap, offering a dynamic and user-friendly way to modify how light interacts with your object. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check this channel for more tutorials and updates. See you in the next video.